What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. I don't have the channel pulled up. It's available. <laughs> I bet, go to not that you guys need to see your own channel, but it just helps for, yeah. for following reasons. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Failing my practice. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And this is kind of an interesting one for me because I hang out with Spaz so often. I feel like I know you guys so well, man. I, I'm stoked yeah. about the the high vibes and hiccups tour, April nineteenth, twentieth, and twenty first. How does it play? How does it feel to be playing the whiskey though? Oh, it's going to be a good night. Yeah. It is Looking good. forward to it. Have any of you guys ever played there before? Yeah, I have. I have not. It's totally exciting. Those are the many years ago. Not. Many years ago. It's a different project, obviously. Yeah. It's a rite of passage, right? For most rock bands, yeah. it's like that's where you have to go. In you order have to. to. Be it's it's like one of the, it's like one of the rock and roll rules of, of yeah. LA. You have to play there at some point. Talk to me about, about the single that came out today. Smile now, cry later. I know I, I get to hear a lot of these things way before they come out because of because of Spaz, but what does that song mean to you guys? Me me personally, I think it's your best work to date. I think it's superb. The song's kicking ass. But what does that song actually mean to you guys individually? <laughs> I think everybody probably has a uh, a little bit different uh connection to it. Yeah, connection to it because that song has been through um, two singers, three writers. Um, it was a process. And so how it originally started, how it finished, all the things that transpired in the middle, um, it's really an emotional song, to tell you the truth. Yes, I know that it was originally a Rob track, correct? And then Elk got his hands on it and then kind of did his thing and then Nick kind of changed it a little bit. Um, but uh, was it was it easy finding Elk as far as the new vocals? I know that's always like a tough, especially with what actually occurred with Rob. <laughs> R.I.P. Everybody, no, everybody just flip off Ant. So, you know, <laughs> they give me the shit because I had the unfortunate pleasure. I mean, the pleasure of working with Elk previously. And he was uh, he was in a band with, uh, with myself. And so it was just kind of a short leg. We were all kind of spread out. So it didn't it didn't last very long but i met him that at that point and uh we had some good tunes and stuff and then i don't know what happened started chatting right around the time this stuff started to go down i was like hey man what are you doing and uh he liked the stuff that we were coming i sent him a bunch of stuff and he's like dude i totally can get into this this is like totally my jam and if i only have to worry about vocals because you guys already got the guitarist that just frees me up to just focus on singing and then it just kind of went from there. So we had him out, and he's as big of an ass as the rest of us. So kind of <laughs> yeah, he right in. running pretty well. You know what I mean? It was just like, all right. We There's gotta... always a fight between yeah. who's a bigger asshole. Yeah. I mean, yeah, just true. I will say true. this, though. I am, uh, without a doubt, I'm the hardest person to get past as far as letting someone in the band. And uh, I was all for Elk before I even met him. Um, after I met him, I felt a little different. <laughs> you were like, well, you were like, hold up, wait, 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 wait a second. Hold up. Maybe this isn't a good idea. No, I was playing. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, the thing about Elk is like we only get to see him and you didn't ask me a question, so I can talk about this. Uh, you know, working with Nick and, you know, there was a little friction between Elk and Nick because, you know, a vocalist dealing with the producer and, and Elk didn't really know how we work with Nick. And, uh, the dude just goes in there, fucking slays, and gets out of the seat. He's like, all right, I'm done. What are we doing now? We're like, dude, seriously, you haven't even warmed up. You haven't practiced with us in months. And he's like, fuck it, whatever. Let's go. Like, again, you remember, BG, you had asked me, can he do, like, four sets in a row? I'm like, yeah, he, he actually can. He's that I, I was going to mention that because he specifically asked if he could do an acoustic set on the final day of on the Sunday. And uh, I, I, I got to double check what time I, I have them going. I have it written down right here. Uh, Midnight? Was that getting breakfast? Yeah. Or Mary <laughs> Two in the morning. I got, them, I got them at 3 p.m., but I got you guys at 10 p.m. So hopefully, you know, come 4-ish, four, four he's cool cooling the vocals for the main the main rendezvous that night. But, uh, yeah, man, that's good. Have you guys ever done back-to-back-to-backs like that before? We did. Uh, a couple well, times. Yeah. 
Right. That tracks yeah. Tahoe. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's a long. Long. Season, Not three. Right. I think Season threes are going to be our longest or, or tied for the longest. Yeah, what do you do? Is there anything, do you have any like remedies or, or things that you do in between each set? Like after the set's over, but before the next one, is there like a cool down method? We're all getting old, man. So I know that, you know, yeah. Spaz might need some some ice for the knees or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you need water the all the time sure. during the show. Yes. <laughs> We got him electrolytes. He'll pass one out time. if he doesn't have water. We got him, yeah, electrolytes. Yeah, you know, kind of, uh, we're old, so Yeah, Pedialyte like, for the Blue Ridge Rock Festival in Virginia. We had two. I did fine. Of it. If we get some water and, and a little bit of yeah. sleep, we'll be okay. We they, can. They just don't let me drink. That they don't let me drink margaritas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they, cut, they cut you off. Fast. How's the uh, how's the the uh, incorporating the new gear for all the screams during the set? Uh, Chuck and I worked on it. Uh, monday and because the x32 is it's so intricate and i just use it for, well we use it for the um the inners rig and now that i figured it out i'm like you know i'll just i, I reached out to nick today i'm like yo so what should i throw first in my chains like compressor obviously eq and your gate because you're beating the shit out of the kit that's separate from the effects and then i i, I got this like octaver it's supposed to be a dual or it's like a, a stereo shifter or whatever. So I can do the high and low because when, when I go do the screams in studio, I scream high, I scream mids and I scream lows. And, you know, Nick is so good at saying that's not good enough. Do it again. And we're like, ah, oh, dude, I'm, I'm about to like fucking throw up my fucking chest. He's like, do it again. He's like, God, but we're trying, um, you know, and I'll be honest with you. My screams are hundred percent in the backing tracks because there are times where I just can't, you know pull it off because either i'm beating the shit out of my kit too hard or i'm thirsty or, or I, I fuck up and i'm like looking around just whatever you know but you know the screams are 100 percent me and you, you're damn right i'm gonna try to scream as hard as i can over the the backing track with that being said don't listen to that bullshit man his job is to beat the fuck out of the drums man and he does a great job at it so that's why we put the screams in the backing track man we feel like they're important and I don't want him worried about that when he's on stage. I right. want him doing what he does. Right. And what he does is a drummer, and he's a fucking badass. So, what what is that that you guys have behind you to your left? It looks like you got like a breaking news poster or something that keeps changing pictures. Like this is breaking news. Oh, oh that's kind of uh, <laughs> what we this do. This just kind of, but it kind of did. Not that. No, not that. Yeah, no, no, I know right what you're right. talking about, but this Amazon is kind of cool though. Yeah. Unit or something. So, so anyway. on, on, a, on a different note, just real quick, man, we're going to give this right here to you, BG. This is for you, brother. Yeah, oh, that, that is amazing. Hey, and don't forget the Septicon. Fuck yeah. Rest in peace, baby. That is very cool of you guys. I can't wait to party with you guys, man. Let, let's say, oh, let's say hypothetically, thanks. it's Sunday. You can walk, be, you could walk to your hotel, hypothetically, around the corner. Who is the last, including myself, who's the last man standing? We're, we're going all out partying tonight. Uh, probably Eric. Yeah. No, me. No, no they're talking it's, partying, not yeah. sober. Yeah. Partying. Well, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Say, I say pretty much sober. So 100% me. I know how to handle it. 100% me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then challenge, challenge accepted. Uh, so we're, when we're out of shows and stuff like that, staying up hotel rooms on gigs, it's Eric and I that are up. Yeah, but don't Spaz ask. and I are the last people up. Everyone else is sleeping. We're still up. <laughs> but don't ask Chris to be your navigator if somebody's driving the RV because they will back it and jackknife that is, the brand that new is trailer. That's completely a false <laughs> statement. Oh, shit. Can't do that. Oh, Can't do that. I'm screaming at him to away. do something rather than what he's doing. So wait, wait. He, Elk drove the wrong direction? No, it was yeah. the previous singer. No, it was Rob. Like they oh. went. I was in the sleep in the back. I was asleep in the back. And I'm and giving him directions. I'm yelling at him, dude. You got to turn right. You got to turn right. No, I'll just go up here and flip a bitch up here. I'm like, no, you're not. There's all you not hear, enough room. All you hear is. <laughs> wait, I'm yelling at wait, him because I knew wait. this was gonna no, happen. He wanted to smoke. Wait. No. Who told him to take the exit? We were trying to find the signs. For no, you're trying to smoke. But no, for the fact that the no. exit was not. He was asleep. He has it no was idea not what on really that night. <laughs> the agenda. He was, he was asleep. Fucking not on the agenda to take that exit. That anyway. is funny. Do you guys care if we take a couple of uh, chat questions while I ask us some trivia? Sure. Let's, Let's go. go. Did anyone bring hot sauce? 
I'll get it. Fuck it. Oh, he's out of here. <laughs> All right. Well, he grabs it, boys. I need I need to know if you could pick a a movie or a TV show that you could agree on one or the other, either a movie or a TV show. If I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, there's no way I stump you because we got the trifecta, the quadfecta of have brains going into okay. it. Any movie or TV show, I'm gonna look up yeah, trivia yeah, on it. Well, hopefully, Brandon, he, he stumped, stumped me last cause... time when I was yeah married through. with children. Fuck this. So. Yeah, not yeah. married children. Friends is fine. Usually. Uh, so this is your chance to actually fuck me over and make me drink say, the hot sauce. Okay. You uh, get to drink. Like, so we're going with friends. That's on you. I know. That was actually good. I don't know shit about friends. That's on you. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, we'll we'll give friends. I got my hot sauce in my beer. You, so. you trust. Okay. Remember how we do? We do Ooh. hot sauce and beer. So I mean, we're just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> give me... Give me a second to look up some uh, some friends trivia. What comes What comes after uh, the High Vibes and Hiccups tour? Like, what do you guys have mapped out for the rest of the year? I know there's more singles coming stuff. Um, there's a cover song in the works. I heard about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, still it's still kind of under wraps. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's still it's in the a works. little bit of country. A so music we're, video we're starring us is in the works. Um, or there's more a p- new songs. There's a piano jam that's in the works. Yeah, we got a lot of things. Uh, oh, yeah. So let, let me ask you this, BG, uh, and Chad as well, because you guys know me and or know me as best as you can. Would you guys actually like to see us or hear us play a ballad, like an emotional ballad? I'm not. We have two of them in pocket. Uh, Harry uh, did the vocals from Set It on one of them. We haven't released it yet, but would you guys actually like to hear a little? Maybe something a little not softer, but just more emotional. Like it's a fucking ballad. Like yeah, sure. One time, one time for sure. There's nothing wrong with that. It's one here. time, You're one, one time. time. Unless it blows up and it's the best thing uh, ever. Then, then two times. Then two times. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have two, and you said two times. Yeah, so. two times. Okay. It, it just depends. It just depends how it does, how it how it fits, how it fits yeah. the set. Speaking of that, heart heart wants to know. Uh, and this could anybody can answer this. If is there a a perfect set list order and why regarding your set? Well, I, I can answer this one. Yeah, you, I think I think our current set list is is really dominant right now. It's probably one of the best. And the one we just came up yes, with last week, the one that we're going to be throwing out of the whiskey in this little mini tour here, right? And you know, some of the stuff we have to keep into account. We have multiple guitars. We have multiple tunings. We have a drop A tuning. We have drop C tuning. So there's a technical side or, you know, to, to yes, we have to. That's if we're doing any cover songs because, during the set, there's another. I mean, tell thing. me. So we pair it up based on the song tuning, but it works well because nobody wants to wait for us to go switch guitars, tune up, switch guitars, back and forth. Back and forth. We don't have guitar techs that are throwing them on stage with us, right? So I think our current set list it, it really sets the tone. You come out strong. You got a roller coaster. Sex list. Yeah. Sex list? Sex list. <laughs> no, it makes it makes sense though. Like you can't you can't you can't retune in between each song. Like too. So let us know if you want to be added to that list. Uh, but I think it's a roller coaster. I think it's a dominant but, dominant. But, and that, actually, since it's a chat question, I can answer that one too. Uh, I was a big proponent of always changing the set list like you never want to hear the same opener you know if you saw us the day before or the day after we never want to play the same set list twice however twice wait twice. oh you talking shit i fucked that one up Look, uh, so i talked sex talk i'm getting hot whatever. Whatever. so i talked to nick <laughs> and we're like dude he basically said look we're doing all these backing tracks we're doing all this uh pre-production and post-production Sit, uh, stick a fucking set list or pick a set list and stick it and keep it for the year. So Chuck and I talked and then um, then we got Ant and Chris involved. Elk's just a singer. So we just let him know what happens and what you're singing. He does what we tell him. Yeah, he basically does. He adapts well. So because we have to do uh, the, the worst thing for us is after a song, silence. We don't fucking like silence. And I'm, I'm not going to play my drums and tinker around like, oh, I'm going to tune up my drums. Drum no. solos. I don't do those. But um, so we've we built a set that's rock fucking solid. And, and remember, BG, I'm like, hey, we open with smile. And you're like, why the fuck are you open with smile? No, smile's our closer now. So that's that's like all all the fucking oomph that we have is in the, the latter part of our set. All the songs are pretty, you know, heavy, but we had to hit you with the best last, and we built it where there's 
15, 20, 25 seconds in between, but there's something going on in between. There's some audible shit going under. And then. But wait, 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 wait. Hold up. No drum solo? No, 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 no. Why not? Why not a drum solo? Well, why not? I'll let Ant solo on my drums. That that could work. All right. <laughs> I just don't do solos. I, I mean, I, I, we've got a nice set set up though. It's got um, we, we feel like what? a solid start to finish. Um, we feel like the the set's got good dynamics. It's got a good flow from song to song. It makes um, we feel like it makes sense from start to finish, and we feel like if you're a fan of you know well put together music, um, that you're probably gonna be a fan of it. It's it's well produced. It's um, it well. it's well written. We feel like we're all you know thirty plus year musicians. You know, so we feel like we're not chumps. Um, Speak for yourself, bro. You ain't been playing thirty years. You've been playing here. five years. Yeah, Spaz, can we can we see the posters? Can, can we see the can we see the posters? The, yeah, we got those right here. The reason I don't do drum solos is I don't practice my craft as much as I should. So. That's the only reason why I don't do them. Look at that beauty. This was made by a badass Lizzie. This is the uh, actually the high vibes and hiccups. I don't know if you can really see Boom. it. But yeah, you guys put in. I know it's kind of, hang on a second. Let's that see. is so awesome. Oh, um, you see on Sunday it says featuring Chloe Trujillo. Yeah. I did see that. That's you, awesome. You guys, know, you guys know who that is? Yeah, Rob we do. Trujillo's we her, her, her husband's not oh, on yeah. tour. Her husband's not on tour during that time. So you never know. Oh. Oh, I uh, did notice that. To see him there. Yeah, that would be wild. That would be wild. <laughs> I have my fucking light on. We're looking forward to seeing her band as well. So yeah, we made those. All and the then, bands uh, listed. Yeah, those look nice. You know, we've been through a lot of shit as a band. You know, for what five, six years. So, you know, with Lizzie making that uh, the photo or that that poster is of, awesome, Lizzie. Thank uh, you. Yep. And then you know, BGU uh, and I working on this. It was. Basically, it was all you with the work, but um, and Lizzie. It, it really means a lot to us because, you know, not knowing you besides in person, because like you said, we've never met, but we're like, we are brothers and all of us are brothers with you. But when we meet in April, we want that trophy, bro. I, oh, I, yeah. I, it's coming. It's right. <laughs> it's right. Right here. Hey, so my 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 kids are coming out to the whiskey show. By the way, it's gonna be my youngest son. He'll be two by then. He'll be his first his first show ever. So he's okay. So oh, wow. him in. it's We're his first it show. Hell so yeah. he's getting his first VIP lanyard. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, whiskey's all ages, so we're gonna we're gonna be able to get him to go to that one. Just cool. cool. I gotta stump you guys. I gotta stump you guys on this Friends trivia. <laughs> You got to pick it, and you picked friends. What does Phoebe find in a can of soda? This occurs in the first. I want to make sure I'm right. It happens in the first season, and it is something you absolutely do not want to find in a soda. If you did, it's a lawsuit. A thumb. A thumb is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. He is now known as Gemini, not the big show. <laughs> Damn it. I uh, so. thought I had you guys. BG, you can say my name. No, no. It's no. Gemini. You can say it. It's Gemini. the bass player. <laughs> I think I, I was told to refer to you only as the bass player. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. In the long hours on the road, is there, what are like some. Uh, I have to bring these items, not like hygienical items, but stuff just to keep you occupied traveling from place to place. Do you guys have any like fun games or anything that you do or just this is just iPads and, and, yeah. and laptops all day? <laughs> yeah. That's Phone chargers good. and alcohol. What do we do? Like, what did we do on our, like us being dumbasses on our, our, our trip to Blue Ridge? What did we do? Did I we thought you like, tell the boot story. We just BS. Did we like oh, play any like license plate games? No, no I, I drove most. Well, no, I didn't. I drove the first. Honestly, when we're doing our to and froms, most of it is just now Eric that, drives. He likes to drive. Now that we have and yeah. blasting music, talking about yeah. music like that's the whole pretty time. much it. We listen to Other music, and talk shit. Now we have cool. spasters. Like we make dumbass videos where he's just fucking. He's got like an Australian. <laughs> <laughs> some, <laughs> certain people do his voice. I don't know. I don't know why. Why he gets an Aussie all accent all of a sudden? Just. It's just so random. You know, I think so like strange. honestly, like we're we are so like just amped 
we just want to get there, you know, yeah. especially making the trek from California to Virginia, which is fucking God awful. Uh, we drove the entire way through. I mean, you know, again, we're just a local band, but yet imagine all these nationals are like, oh, but they're hitting fucking city to city to city. And, and we were just like, all right, four hours is up, Chris. Two hours is up, and four hours. Baseball only drove two hours. That's not true. Bullshit. <laughs> you love to give me shit. Much. That's like the thing of this band that give the bass player shit. Yes. Yeah, I get it. I get it. That's funny. BG, is that not the thing of every band? Though? Yeah. <laughs> a lot yeah, of them do. I, a lot of them do. That's for sure. Less Claypool or something, right? Or, no, I think mean, uh, really she is. Less Claypool. Even he takes shit in his band. They're like, ah, he's just but, a bass player. So, BG, if you remember correctly, if, if you can tell these guys, let's uh, let's surprise them. What did I say I was going to do? What was I going to bring just to get you in the RV to maybe just sample some stuff? Bong water. Well, not bong water, but what, uh, what some, were you going to do for me? Some kind of like recording equipment, right? Yes, sir. What are you going to do? You might scream sing or scream or gang vocal or one of the above? Uh, yes, sir. I can't really scream that well anymore, but I'll just I'll just do it because you want me to do it. That, that'll be fun. Well, the bass player will pinch you in the butt. Okay. <laughs> That's a Chuck thing. Chuck likes to do that. Yeah, no, no, no. that's <laughs> all good, man. That's Chuck. Twenty bucks. Oh, yeah. Twenty bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks. <laughs> hey, for you, I get you ten. You get the discount. I get, I get ten pinchies. Cool. Ten. Woo. <laughs> I got one more trivia question for you guys. Chandler hates dogs, but what did Ross hate? Ice cream. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> That is correct. Yeah, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, you are no longer known as the because, because it's too cold. <laughs> that is 100% correct. And literally, the description says Ross hates it because it's too cold. <laughs> so that That is, that is an A plus with extra credit answer right there. I haven't watched that show in a couple of years, too. So, <laughs> Well done. Well, boys, I know this is kind of like just a follow-up interview. Um, and again, I spaz on here all the time, giving me the breaking news with you guys, giving me some demos, talking about what's going on with the sessions with Nick and stuff. Um, but I am ecstatic to party with you three nights in a row, man. April 19th, 20th, and my kids are going the 20th. It's going to be awesome. My wife's going 21st back at Froggy's for like all day thing, mixing up hip hop, rock, all kinds of stuff going on in the Sunday show. It's going to be a blast, man. Safe travels, please. And I got the trophy for you. Don't worry. We'll be good, man. But thank you for making all this happen, dude. Yeah. We appreciate all your help. Yeah. All Lizzie, too. Lizzie, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, the whole yeah. LBS crew. Yeah, yeah the absolutely. You know, it's um, we tune in when we can. I know Eric does the most of it, but your whole crew is awesome. Your show is awesome. Everything that you do for us. Can't say thank you enough. I cannot extend our gratitude enough. So, humbly, we just say thank you. Yeah. The first round's on me on Friday. Let's party. I know JB's planning on doing something special with, with oh, yeah. Spaz or something. Something with a little secret. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to do Dead and Gone, but, you know, we the, the, the song actually ended up taking a whole right yeah. turn. So yeah. we, we kind of put the nicks on that. But I'll talk to JB because, yeah, JB's got, like, you know, some of the shit that he's – or all the shit he released is awesome. But what, what he did with us – it was really cool, and I'm still down to do an alternate version with him because you know me. I'm like, I, I love uh, diving into different realities or different types of uh, vocalists. It's like, what can you do with this? What can you do with this? And it just opens your mind and opens the music up for something that was so unexpected. You know, it, it's amazing. And we got a really cool thing with Dead and Gone. Elk went totally right field with it and just hit a home run it's amazing it's it's an incredible piece of music now it's more personal though mm -hmm. it's amazing it's 100 yeah. yeah. percent but with that being said we have a whole nother album of material that hasn't been released yet that we're still working on so we, we are working on basically a secondary album right now we have plenty of material plenty of stuff that we can offer up guest uh guest places for and whatever the case may be so there's there's lots to go and um we we continue to stay busy so so expect some guest spots on the follow-up future stuff yeah, we love to work yeah. with people yeah. if we can man because we're all doing the same thing and i'll tell you this you know um we don't compete with anyone we just do what we do we respect everybody else we try to work with people and we try to help um you know everybody grow as much as we can together 
that's where we find the most success and and honestly the most fulfillment so and we also you know the the biggest thing of failure by proxy is we're not going to step on you we're going to pick you up before us we're going to like push you ahead of us uh not Just as a guinea pig us, but right? we're, yeah take you with us Everybody's but moving we're the same direction. you know it's like the whole headliner who headlines this who headlines this you know close hoes suck you know i hate being the last band you know we get home at four o'clock in the morning and we went on at like 11 or 12 o'clock you know and, and you know we're all get, our genre or our our fan base is old you know they're like in wheelchairs and like <laughs> <laughs> No, but you know, all my followers, they gotta know, be up and they get up at four o'clock in the morning. You start talking about my mama like that. She <laughs> loves you. <laughs> but the thing is, the most important part about especially being in, in a, a local band or even a national band, because I, I can tell you this if, if there's a local band playing for a national, they're gonna be fucking watching you. They're not gonna be up front. They're gonna be watching because what national band doesn't want to know what crowd that band is bringing you know so we make it a point where they're we're busy i mean we each have our own stuff going on after shows but one of us one of us always watches the opener the middle the beginning blah blah, blah or the openers yeah. one of us always watches every fucking band because that's they're supporting us She's we're supporting them yeah. and you know yeah. what we all need each other <laughs> to make this movement go Not and right you know here. it's like I have, I mean, you know, I like to blow money. I have no problem blowing money on merch. I will buy merch for we. I took these guys and a bunch of people. With There's two words in that yeah. statement. The first word matters the most. <laughs> 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 you know, like we went to 311. We had a great time. I love 311. I spent like what twelve hundred dollars in merch. I, I didn't give a shit because we we're having so much fun. I love buying merch for the the support acts, the national acts. I prefer. Let's just be real. The, he doesn't actually have clothing. That's why he goes to shows so he can buy shirts. Fucking a. And <laughs> That's it. Yeah, he's, get the he's he's to, uh, show at four o'clock. He's usually just in boxers. I don't. I don't think he has any actual clothes other than hoodies. Yeah, and, and, and dickies. At merch. He doesn't have shirts. Dickies shit. Oh, dude, I'm fucking broke. <laughs> Well, that's hilarious. But you guys, I'm I'm stoked again for 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 April. That's gonna be awesome. Safe travels, please. And like I said, first rounds on me. Uh, it's gonna be a blast, man. I'm excited. Uh, and and then hopefully we can give away the, that poster later today, uh, Spaz. That'd be awesome. Yeah, just let me know, brother. Uh, we got to get to practice because we uh, readjusted our set and songs and the in betweens and all that stuff. But yeah, for sure. Uh, and that Friday night at Froggy's will be the first time we play this set. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so we feel stoked about it, and and you'll just have to let us know if it's uh. As That's, good as we think. There is there's a band directly opening for you that that resides in my stomping grounds. They're called Rain Brings Weather. They're gonna blow you guys not out of the water, but I'm saying they're gonna blow your mind. And they're a perfect hard rock fit to be the direct opener for you guys. So they, 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 check them out. they usually bring like a lot of locals. With them. They, yeah. they could try to blow us out of the water, and that's what that's what we do as openers, middles, wherever the fuck we are in the set. We always want to blow away the band behind us, but yet. And it, it's not like, oh, we did. No, it's, it's nothing like that. It's like, let's have a, let's just deliver. have a good show. Deliver. Everybody have right. a good show. We're not going to be in fucking each board. other. To we want nice every band yeah. bringing their eight game to yeah. the show. Yeah. We want to have fun. And and enjoy. Have a good show. Have fun. Um, definitely looking forward to the other bands. Yep. Um, I've seen a ton of bands come through your show, dude. You definitely have uh, eclectic. We're going to scream it from now. Um, a a serious amount of talent that you pull from. So I'm super excited to just see everything that comes together and see how that that all happens and friday saturday sunday all three days are all so different and unique um yeah we're really looking forward to it it's it's three very individual shows three individual experiences um if anyone's got the ability to hit all three friday saturday and sunday it's going to be badass and be a lot of fun there's a bunch so. of us that are hitting all three so you'll, make you'll... sure you check out jb music though fucking a <laughs> and make sure you hit us up we're down there you know don't be shy we don't yeah. know where everybody is man so come see us Shake our hands, yeah. you know, uh, do whatever you got to do. Tug my overall straps, you know, get somebody's attention, you know, whatever Boys you got to do. Tail, do whatever. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, Slap you know, them around. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> he likes to all you, that meet shit. you, see you, all that stuff, man. So please hit us up. Hell yeah. Well, well, fellas, this is fun, man. I appreciate you. And uh, I'll throw this on YouTube. I'll, I'll send uh, I'll send Spaz the link later tonight. It'll drop tomorrow morning. But again, safe travels, fellas. And uh, have a great practice. 
too. Don't forget the reaction video. You owe it because I got it on the wheel. I won it. I'm writing it down right now. You were supposed to write it down last week. Are we doing anything special with this hot sauce? Why do we have to pull this out? No, I didn't stump you. Um, Yeah, but remember last time we did this shit, Ant and I just poured a hot sauce. I mean, feel free to to, to pound some right now if you want to send us out on a hoorah. Yeah, just right, go ahead. Right. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna top it off. We're gonna we're gonna pound it. So what we're gonna do, Anthony will probably fake it, but it's okay. But I'm gonna chug my beer. Probably. <laughs> he will. I think Chris. Should, I can't. I think the bass player should. You don't have time. a gag reflex. So yeah, what do you yeah. want me to say? Like, watch, he's got like a. Well, I got the stuff. You right. just gotta relax your throat, buddy. He's good. Twenty dollars is twenty dollars. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you have experience. Right. Oh, thank you, chat. Thank you, BG. Wow. Thank you, uh, Lizzie. Thank you, everybody. That thank, thank you, everybody. everybody. We love you guys. And uh, we love you too. Time to interview my brothers because again, I'm always on the uh, co-host, and I'm so uh, privileged and uh, happy when you ask me to do it because. We just have fun. I mean, you got to give us some credit. Phil was fucking awesome. Phil, I mean, Phil was did. a good one. That was a fun one. A little squid game right. action. Oh, Cheers, yes. boys. Enjoy your Cheers. evening. Let, let's pound some. I can't even get over it. The sound is like... Duck, 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 duck. Gemini, Ant-Man, Whoa. Chuck, Spaz, failure by practice. Yeah, hell yeah. Yes. Thank you, guys. We will see you soon. <laughs> if nobody wins it tonight, that's fine. Um, I can send you a screenshot. Elk will be here this weekend. Um, but also uh, with the, the Lizzie poster, we want to get all the other bands to sign it. Too. <laughs> it's the, I, I put a one of 100 at the bottom of it. So whoever wins it, whether it's tonight, tomorrow, however long you keep it on the wheel, that that the first posters is for whoever wins it. So yeah, let's just make it special. And fuck it, I'll throw in a spaz replica mask too. So wow. It's a mega prize right there. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh so you want to give it away today or you want to wait till all the bands have signed it in April, then mail it out? Well, I mean we could give it away if somebody were to win it today, but it ha- um we'll wait till all the bands sign it. If, if they only want our signatures, fuck it. We'll we'll send it out then. So I mean I guess it's up to the winner. Gotcha. No worries. Yeah. Well, yeah, go ahead and grab your winner today and they can pick. Yeah. Whatever. I'll keep want. spinning until we get a winner today. We'll, uh, we'll make yeah, it work. Either. We'll make it work. All right, fellas. Cheers. Enjoy your practice. I'll, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Right.